Hi gamers and YouTube people, welcome to Sarja Sunday News. For the latest Nintendo indie game news, Nintendo third party news and Nintendo exclusive news. I have great topics for you today, so stay tuned after the intro. Welcome to the Sarja Games little boy, we got live streams and gameplays little boy. Le level up, level up, Super Mario, get crazy, man, w Wario. We about to take off, take over the whole planet, but my time is running out so you better check the channel we got a lot of information let's get it you want all that information come get it time for indie game news developer atoy has announced that mutant mods collection for nintendo switch will be coming to the nintendo eShop on december 14 and the game will cost you in the us 14 dollars 99 in the UK, 10 pounds and 99 cents, and in Europe, 12 euros and 99 cents. But if you pre-purchase the game on December 7, you can get the game for a discount price of 9 dollars and 99 cents in the US, and in UK, 7 pounds and 29 cents, and in Europe, 8 euros and 69 cents. Sounds cool and great. Yes, another great indie title is heading to Nintendo Switch on December 7th. So that means very soon. The game has a sexy name: The Sexy Bruto. It's a game where you take the role of Lefkadio Boone, who explores a huge mansion and tries to solve a series of murders while trapped in a Groundhog Day style time loop. Ok, sounds like a great and a fun game. The indie game Black the Fall is making its way to the Nintendo Switch. The news surfaced not through our official announcement, but with the channel being added for the title on the Nintendo Switch via the system news feature. So, an official release announcement shouldn't be long after this. This endgame looks really, really great. The Super Meat Boy Forever developer says Nintendo is really pushing indie games. That's why I think that Nintendo Switch is getting almost every day a new indie game announcement. This is what the Meat Boy developer said in an interview. It used to be Sony was the one that was pushing the indie devs so much. I think Nintendo is pushing harder than Sony now. And right now they are offering more exposure. So, Nintendo is different with the Switch, they do things otherwise than before, in a good way, and I hope that Nintendo will keep doing this forever. The game bakers have announced that Fury is on its way to the Nintendo Switch. The game will arrive on the Switch eShop in early 2018 and promises to a great adventure for all. The developer says that they put a lot of effort in the game and they are very happy with the result. The Switch version will include all the content that has been released for Fury across all platforms so far. I like when developers doing their best with porting the game over. These are the kind of developers I like to support. The Zen Studio developers are excited to finally bring Pinball at X3 to the Nintendo Switch on December 12th. That's a few weeks later than they promised. But they took a bit more time to make some improvements. The Switch version will have exclusive features. HD Rumble ensures that all 30 tables feel like you're playing real pinball more than any other video game out there. I have a link from the Pinball FX Switch Live demo in the description for you. It's a 30 minute long video and the video is great. And now it's time for third party news. In an interview, Sakaguchi from Mistwalker says that he's thinking to bring Terra Battle 3 to the Nintendo Switch. He said however I do want to develop games on console again at some point. We are even working on Terra Battle 3 right now and maybe console will be the right fit for that. He also said that because we heavily making game for mobile doesn't mean that we left consoles behind. And the Nintendo Switch is a very good piece of hardware. Ok, so for now we have to wait and see if this game will release on the Nintendo Switch. But it sounds like the game will come soon or later. So Rockstar Games is giving away a custom Team LA Noir Nintendo Switch console. They announced this on their Rockstar Twitter account. The entry period to win the Nintendo Switch is December 15 and ends at December 21. They are doing this also for the other consoles, so if you have all consoles, give it a try. There's a link in the description, click on it and you will see what to do. A developer from Capcom said to the Japanese publication from Mitsu that the team were going to go ahead and create Resident Evil Team Amiibo. The Amiibo they were considering making wear of is Hunk and Lady Hunk from Resident Evil Revelation but they decide not to do it at this point, but it could be a future plan. The president from Capcom also said that Monster Hunter Double X for the Switch sold better than expected, and the game only launched in Japan, so Street Fighter and Monster Hunter sold great on the Nintendo Switch. 
let's hope that this means more Capcom's games on the way for the Nintendo Switch. The official John Festa website is opened, as Square Enix have revealed what they plan to show at this event this year. The expo runs from December 16th to December 17th at the Makuru Messe in Chiba, Japan. I don't know how to say that. The following titles will exhibit the event are the Sedia Final Fantasy, Dragon Quest Builders, Dragon Quest X Online, two Dragon Quest games for Android and iOS, Secret of Mana, and an arcade version of Dragon Quest. If you want to know the exact time this game will be showed, click on the link on this video. Banda Namco has announced that the Tales of series will be celebrated its 22nd anniversary. And to be celebrate this, they are holding a special 22nd anniversary broadcast on December 16th. The broadcast is titled Tales Room and begins from 2100 to 2200 Japanese time. I bet that many fans from this game are hoping for a new Tales game. So about two weeks, we're going to see if there will be something new in this series. And of course, exclusive Nintendo news. So the vice general manager of Nintendo, Yoshiki Koizumi, makes the Bloomberg list of the most influential people in 2017. The list consists of the 50 individuals who Bloomberg think deserve special recognition for their efforts throughout the year. And Nintendo is doing great so far with the Switch, so it is great to see Koizumi and Nintendo's performance getting noticed. Yes, Nintendo is on the spotlight again, and Koizumi looks like the right person for Nintendo, so he deserves to be on that list. On the US Nintendo eShop, there's a variety of titles on offer this week. There's a list with great games at discount price. The Great Mario Bros. Rabbit Kingdom Battle cost this week $40.19. If you want the game, get it immediately, because this ends on the 4th of December. Want to switch is also discount with a 20% off. That means it costs now $39.99. This discount ends on the 11th of December. There are more than 15 games discounted, so check your US Nintendo eShop right now, or made one. You can also click on the link in the description for the list. It seems like that Nintendo fixed the D-pad on the Xenoblade Chronicle 2 Team Pro Controller. A Reddit member say that the D-pad on the Xeno controller feels different to the older Pro Controller. He found out that Nintendo have in fact redesigned the D-pad a little in the Xeno controller. He said that the pole in the Xeno controller is longer than the old controllers. Wow, how many times do I have to say controller? So if you want this new controller, you have to buy the Xeno one. Because Nintendo will likely have surplus stock of the old design they will sell through. Meaning both old and new will be on the shelf at the same time. So if you want a new design, you know what to do. Retro Studios is busy with developing a game for a long time now. But we don't know what kind of game they are developing. What we know is that Metroid is not the game they are developing. And those dudes are quiet for a long time. And now they are looking for a 3D environment artist who can create suitable and quality visual for Nintendo games? Why are they hiring so many developers? For me, it seems more and more that they have two teams at Retro Studio. I'm curious to know what kind of game they are cooking for us. I have a strong feeling that they are cooking something special for us. I think that you are one of the million gamers who are waiting for the second Zelda Breath of the Wild DLC. Nintendo of Japan announced that they are going to host a special event for Zelda Breath of the Wild. And the event will be broadcast on December 12th at 9pm Japanese time via Nico Nico. It is not clear whether the second batch of downloadable content will be showcased during this event. Or whether Nintendo will reveal that at the Game Awards 2017. So maybe we will see it this Thursday at the Game Awards or at the Japanese live broadcast on 12th December. The only reason why I think they will show it at both events is if the Japanese version is different than the other versions. Alright, this was the last topic for today. Let me know what you think about those topics in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. Have a great gaming day, take care, be positive, peace. Thanks for watching, thanks for your time. Thumbs up for the video, comment and subscribe. You better hit the button, come and follow the tribe. But every few is love, so I'll see you next time. Let's get it on.